Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before I get started, I'm going to say a customary blessing. Blessed are thou, Don't I, new king of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments, commanded us, and grows ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai, Allah, you sweeten the words of your Torah in our mouths and in our mouths of all your people, Israel. May we in our offspring, the offspring of every people, the house of Israel. May we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Bless you, Adonai, teach its Torah to his people, Israel. Bless you, Adonai Eleni, King of the Universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Bless you, Adonai, give her the Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence your light and may be kind to you. May Adonai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. <coughs> this video is going to be a little different because my recording software went out. Exodus 30, 11 through 34, 35, Yahweh said to Moses, When you take the census of the people, then each shall give a ransom for his life to Yahweh. When you number them, there, that there may be no plague among them, and when you, when you number them, each one who is numbered in the census shall give half a shekel according to the shekel of sanctuary. The shekel is twenty geras. Half of the shekel is an offering to Yahweh. Everyone who is numbered in the census from Twenty years old and upward shall give Yahweh's offering. The rich shall not give more, and the poor shall not give less than the half shekel. When you give Yahweh's offering to make atonement for your lives, you shall take the atonement money from the people of Israel, and shall give it to the service of the tent of meeting, that it may bring the people of Israel to remembrance before Yahweh, so as to make atonement for your lives. Yahweh said to Moses, You shall also make a basin of bronze. With its stands of bronze for washing, and you shall put it between the tent of meeting and the altar, and you shall put water in it. With which Aaron and his son shall wash their feet in their hands. When they go into the tent of meeting, or when they come near the altar to minister, to burn a food offering to Yahweh, they shall wash with water, so that they may not die. They shall wash their hands and their feet, so that they may not die. It shall be a statute forever to them, even to him and to his offspring throughout their generations. Yahweh said to Moses, Take the finest spices of liquid mirror, 500 shekels, and of sweet-smelling cinnamon, and half of much, that is 250, and 250 of aromatic cane, and 500 of cacassia. Sorry, cassia, yeah. According to the shekel of the sanctuary, and a hen of olive oil, and you shall make of these a sacred anointing oil blended by the per perfumer. It shall be a holy anointing oil. With it you shall anoint the tent of meeting and the ark of the testimony and the table and all its utensils, the lampstand and its utensils, the altar of incense and the altar of burning offerings with all its utensils, and the basin and its stand. You shall consecrate them, that they may be made that they may be most holy. Whoever whatever touches them will become holy. You shall anoint Aaron and his sons and consecrate them that they may be that they may serve me as priests. And you shall say to the people of Israel, This shall be my holy anointing oil throughout your generations. This shall not be poured on the body of an ordinary person. And you shall make no other like it in comparison in composition, sorry. It is holy and it shall be holy to you whoever compo compounds any like it or whoever puts any of it on an outsider shall be cut off from his people. Yahweh said the Moses take sweet spices stacked anika and galbanum sweet spices with pure frankincense of each shall be an equal part and make incense blended as the perfumer seasoned with salt pure and holy you shall beat some of it very small and put part of it before the testimony in the tent of meeting where i shall meet with you and it shall be most holy for you and the incense that you shall make according to its composition you shall not make for yourselves it shall be holy it shall be for you holy to Yahweh. Whoever makes any like it to use as perfume shall be cut off from his people. <coughs> Excuse me. Yahweh said to Moses, See, I have called by the name of Bezalel, the son of Uri, son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. And I have filled him with the spirit of Elohim, with ability and intelligence, with knowledge and of craftsmanship, to devise artistic designs, to work in gold, silver, and bronze, and cutting stones for settings and in carving wood to work in every craft and behold I have appointed with him Aholiab the son of Ahishamach of the tribe of Dan and I have given to you able men to all able men ability that they may 
that they may make all that I have commanded you, the tent of meeting and the ark of testimony and the mercy seat that is on it, and all the furnishings of the tent, the table and its utensils, the pure lampstand and with all its utensils, and the altar of incense and the altar of burnt offerings with all its utensils, and the basin and its stand. And finally, work garments, the holy garments, for Aaron the priest, and the garments of his sons, for their service as priests, and the anointing oil and the fragrant incense for the holy place, according to all that I have commanded you, they shall do. And Yahweh said to Moses, You are to speak to the people of Israel, say, Above all you shall keep my Sabbaths. This is a sign between me and you, you throughout your generations, that you may know that I, Yahweh, sanctified you. <coughs> sanctify you, and shall keep the Sabbath, because it is holy for you. Anyone, who, Everyone who profanes it shall be put to death. Whoever does any work on that, that soul shall be cut off from among his people. Six days shall work be done. But the seventh day is a Sabbath of solemn rest, holy to Yahweh. Whoever does any work on the Sabbath shall be put to death. Therefore, the people of Israel shall keep the Sabbath, observing the Sabbath throughout their generations as a covenant forever. It is a sign forever between me and the people of Israel that in six days Yahweh made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. And he gave Moses... When he had finished speaking with him on the Mount Sinai, the two t tablets of testimony, tablets of stone written on by, with the finger of Elohim. When the people saw that Moses delayed to come down from the mountain, the people gathered themselves to Aaron and said to him, Make us up, make us gods, who shall go before us? For this Moses, the man who brought us out of the land of Egypt, we do not know what has become of him. So Aaron said to them, Take off the rings of gold that are in the ears of your wives, your sons, and your daughters, and bring them to me, so that all the people took off the rings of gold that were in their ears and brought them to Aaron. And he, he received the gold from their hand and fashioned it with a, a graving tool and made a golden calf. And they said, These are your gods, O Israel, who brought you up out of the land of Egypt. When Aaron saw this, he built an altar before it. And Aaron made a proclamation and said, Tomorrow shall be a feast to Yahweh, and they rose up early the next day and burnt offerings and off and brought peace offerings, and the people sat down to eat, drink, and rose up to play. Yahweh said to Moses, Go down, for your people whom you brought out of the land of Egypt have corrupted themselves. They have turned aside quickly out of the way that I have commanded them. They have made for themselves a golden calf, and have worshipped it, and sanctified it, and said, These are your gods, O Israel, who brought you up out of the land of Egypt. And Yahweh said to Moses, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a sift necked people. Now therefore let me alone, that my wrath may burn hot against them, and I may consume them, in order that I may make a great nation of you. But Moses implored Yahweh his Elohim, and said, O Lord, why does your wrath burn hot against your people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, with great power and with a mighty hand? Why should the Egyptians say, with evil intent, did he bring them out to kill in the mountains, and consume them from the face of the earth? Turn from your burning anger and relent from this disaster against your people. Remember Abraham and Isaac and Israel, your servants, to whom you have sworn, to whom you swore by your own self and said to them, I will multiply your offspring as the stars in heaven and all this land I have promised, I will give to your offspring and they shall inherit it forever. And Yahweh relented from the disaster that he spoke on of bringing on his people. Moses turned and went down from the mountain with his two tablets of testimony in his hand, the tablets that were written on both sides, and on, on the front and on the back they were written. The tablets were the work of Elohim, and the writing was the writing of Elohim engraved on the tablets. When Joshua heard the noise from the people and they shouted, he said to Moses, There is a noise of war in the camp, but he said, It is not the shouting the sound of shouting for victory, or the sound of cry of defeat, but the sound of singing that I hear. And as soon as he came near the camp and saw the calf and dancing, Moses' anger burned hot, and he threw the tablets out of his hands and broke them at the foot of the mountain. He took the calf that they had made and burned it with fire and ground it to powder and scattered it on the water and made the people drink it. And Moses said to Aaron, What did this people do to you that you have brought such a, sin, a great sin upon them? And Aaron said, Let not the anger of my Lord burn hot. You know the people, they are set on evil. For they said to me, Make us gods who shall go before us. As for this Moses, the man who brought us out of the land of Egypt, we do not know what has become of him. So I said to them, Let any who have gold take it off. 
so that they gave so they gave it to me and I threw it into the fire and out came this calf. And when Moses saw that the people had broken loose, for Aaron had let them break loose to the derision of their enemies. Then Moses stood at the gate of the camp and said, Who is on Yahweh's side? Come to me. And all the sons of Levi gathered around him, and they said to them, Thus says Yahweh, Elohim of Israel, Put your sword on the side of each of you. Go to and fro from gate to gate throughout the camp, and each of you kill his brother and his companion and his, and his neighbor. And the sons of Levi did according to the word of Moses. And that day about three thousand men of the people fell. And Moses said, Today you have been ordained for the service of Yahweh, each one at the cost of his son and of his brother, so that he might bestow a blessing upon you this day. The next day Moses said to the people, You have sinned a great sin, and now I will go up to Yahweh, perhaps I can make atonement for your sins. So you, Moses returned to Yahweh and said, Alas, the people, this people has sinned a great sin. They have made for themselves gods of gold. But now I will forgive their sin. But if not, please blot me out of the book that you have written. But Yahweh said to Moses, Whoever has sinned against me, I will blot out of my book. But now go, lead the people to the place about which I have spoken to you. Behold, my angel shall go before you. Nevertheless, in the day when I visit, I'm a, I, will, I will visit their sin upon them. Then Yahweh sent a plague on the people because they made the calf the one that Aaron made. Yahweh said to Moses, Depart, go up from here. You and the people whom you have brought out of the land of Egypt to the land of which I swore to Abraham, Isaac, and to Jacob, saying to your offspring, I will give it. I will send an angel before you, and I will drive out the Canaanites, the Amorites, the Hivites, sorry, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. Go up to a land flowing with milk and honey, but I will not go up among you, lest I consume you on the way, for you are a stiff-necked people. When the people heard this disastrous word, they mourned and not no one put on his ornaments. For Yahweh said to Moses, Say to the people of Israel, You are a stiff-necked people. For if a single moment I should go among you, I would consume you. So now take off your ornaments, that I may know what to do with you. Therefore the people of Israel stripped themselves of their ornaments from Mount Horeb onward. Now Moses used the tent and pitched it outside the camp, far off from the camp. And he called it the tent of meeting. And everyone who sought Yahweh would go out to the tent of meeting, which was on the outside of the camp whenever Moses went out to the tent. All the people would rise up, and each would stand at his tent door, and watch Moses until he had gone into the tent. When Moses entered the tent, the pillar of cloud would descend and stand at the entrance of the tent, and Yahweh would, spoke, would speak with Moses. When all the people saw the pillar of cloud standing at the entrance of the tent, all the people would rise up and worship each other at his tent door. Thus Yahweh and worship each at his tent door. Sorry. Thus Yahweh used to speak to Moses face to face as a man speaks to his friend. When Moses turned against, turned again into the camp, his assistant Joshua, the son of Nun, a young man, would not depart from the tent. Moses said to Yahweh, See, you say to me, Bring up this people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. Yet you have said, I know you by name, and you have found favor in my sight, now therefore if I have found favor in your sight, please show me now your ways, that I may know you in order to find favor in your sight. Consider, too, this is a nation, is your people. And he said, my, pre my presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. And he said to him, if your presence will not go with me, do not bring us up from here. For how shall it be known that I have found favor in your sight, I and your people? Is it not... And you are going with us, so that we are distinct, and I and your people, from every other people on the face of the earth. And Yahweh said to Moses, This very thing that you have spoken I will do, for you have done. You have found favor in my sight. And I know, by you, know you by name. Moses said, Please show me your glory. And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before you, and I will proclaim before you my name, Yahweh. And I will be gracious to whom... I will be gracious, and will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. But he said, You cannot see my face, for a man shall not see me and live. And Yahweh said, Behold, there is a place by me where you shall stand on the rock. And while my glory passes by, I will put you in the cleft of the rock, and I will cover you with my hand until I have passed by. Then I will take away my hand, and you shall see my back, but my face shall never be seen. 
Yahweh said to Moses, Cut for yourself two tablets of stone like the first snow, write on the tablets. The words that were written on the first tablets which you broke, Be ready by the morning, and come up in the morning to Mount Sinai, and present yourself there to me on the top of the mountain. No one shall come up with you, and let no one be seen throughout all the mountain. Let no flocks or herds graze opposite that mountain. So Moses cut two tablets of stone like the first, and he rose early in the morning, and went up on Mount Sinai. Uh, and Yahweh, as Yahweh had commanded him, and took in his hands two tablets of stone, Yahweh descended in a cloud and stood with him there and proclaimed the name of Yahweh. Yahweh passed before him and proclaimed Yahweh, Yahweh, Elohim, merciful, gracious, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness, keeping steadfast love for thousands, favoring in, oh, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin. But who will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers and the children and the children's children to the third and fourth generations? And Moses quickly bowed his head toward the earth and worshipped, and he said, If now I have found favor in your sight, O Lord, please let the, the Lord go in the midst of us, for it is a stiff-necked people, and pardon our iniquity and our sin, and take us for your inheritance. And he said, Behold, I am making a covenant. Before all your people I will do marvels such as not have been created in all the earth or any nation. <coughs> Excuse me. And all the people among whom you have, you are, whom you are shall see the work of Elohim, for it is an awesome thing that I will do with you. Observe what I have commanded you this day. Behold, I will drive out before you the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Hittites, Tites, the Prizites, the Hivites, the Jebusites, take care lest you make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land to which you go, lest it become a snare in your midst. You shall tear down their altars and break their pillars and cut down their ashram. For you shall worship no other god, for Yahweh's name is jealous as a jealous Elohim. Lest you make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land, and when they whore after their gods and sacrifice to their gods, and you are invited, you eat of his sacrifice, and you take their daughters for your sons, and their daughters whore after their gods, and make your sons whore after their gods. You shall not make for yourself any gods of cast metal. You shall keep the festival on unleavened bread. Seven days you shall eat unleavened bread, as I have commanded you. At the, at the time appointed in the month of Abib, for in the month of Abib you came out of Egypt. All that opened the womb are mine. All your males, livestock, the firstborn of cow and sheep, the firstborn of donkey, you shall redeem with a lamb, or if you will not redeem it, you shall break its neck. All the firstborn of your son shall redeem, and none shall appear before me empty-handed. Six days you shall work, but on the seventh day you shall rest in plowing time, and in harvest time you shall rest, you shall observe the Feast of Weeks, the first fruits of wheat harvest, and the Feast of Ingathering at the year's end. Three times in a year you shall... Shall all your males appear before Yahweh Elohim, the Elohim of Israel, for it will cast out nations before you and enlarge your borders, and no one shall covet your land. When you go up to the, appear before Yahweh your Elohim three times in a year, you shall not offer the blood of my sacrifice with anything leavened, or let the sacrifice of the feast of Passover remain until morning. The best of the first fruits of your ground you shall bring to the house of Yahweh your Elohim. You shall not boil young goats in its mother's milk. And Yahweh said to Moses, Write these words, for in accordance with these words I have made a covenant with you and with Israel. So he was there with Yahweh forty days and forty nights. He neither ate bread nor drank water, and he wrote on a tablet the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. And when Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tablets of the testimony in his hand, as he came down from the mountain, Moses did not know that the skin of his face shone because he had been talking with Elohim. Aaron and all the people of Israel saw Moses, and behold, the skin of his face shone, and they were afraid to come near him. But Moses called to them, and Aaron and all the leaders of the congregation returned to him, and Moses talked with them. Afterwards, all the people of Israel came near, and he commanded them all. That Yahweh had spoken with him on Mount Sinai, and when he had finished speaking with them, he put a veil over his face. Whenever Moses went in before Yahweh to speak with him, he would remove the veil until he came out. And when he came out and told the people of Israel what he was commanded, the people of Israel would see the face of Moses, that the skin of Moses' Moses's face was shining, and Moses would put the veil over his face again until he went to speak with him. <coughs>